What's up? We have now officially closed out 2022 and have now entered into 2023. It's hard to believe, uh, but as the calendar has changed, there's been a lot of talk about the Canadian real estate market as a whole. It was definitely a very eventful year in 2022. The start of the year brought record-breaking prices that many markets in Canada have never experienced before. Transactions were also taking place at rapid speeds. And then around like the May, June uh, time of the year is when the tone completely shifted in the real estate market. Number one, the Bank of Canada increased their key interest rate a total of seven times after stating that Canadians won't have to worry about rate hikes until 2023. Now, the biggest topic in the Canadian real estate market last year in 2022 was the fact that the policy interest rate went from virtually nothing at 0.25% to 4.25% in the span of nine months. That was completely unheard of until now, right? Um, and this impacted almost everyone who was carrying a mortgage in some way, shape, or form. Um, but if you were one of those lucky people on the fixed rate, during the COVID lows, you haven't been affected, but there will come a time in the future when you have to renew your mortgage and you may feel the squeeze in the future. And don't get me wrong, homeowners weren't the only people affected either. Renters saw their money going shorter last year in 2022, and it still is happening right now as those rental rates have increased almost 30% in some markets. The downtown core in Toronto was absolutely madness for the majority of the year. It's still crazy, but it has been a little less hectic over the past couple of weeks with holidays and whatnot. Um, but with all of this being said and all the scary news headlines, people are still getting up, working hard, and they're finding ways to make their situation work, which is the important thing to know. And there is light at the end of the tunnel. My name is Train. I make educational videos about the greater Toronto area and the Canadian real estate market to keep you in the know about what is happening on a daily basis. If you'd like to book a time to chat about anything real estate related, please find the first link in the description and you can pick a time that is convenient for you. Lastly, if you do find value from this type of content, I would kindly ask if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. Moving on from interest rates, a look at a couple of other things that are entering the market this year. Most notably, the bidding style in Ontario is changing from a closed bidding process where no details of competing offers can be shared with other respective parties to an open bidding process where sellers are now able to disclose all the details about the offers that are coming their way. So this actually includes the sale price of the offer, the closing date um, on when the buyers want to close on the property, and conditions, if any, of competing offers. I'm all for transparency, so I think this is a good move by the government, but I personally don't think that anything will change in terms of affordability or prices running away in the bidding process. And this is because humans are competitive in nature. If you see a number on paper that you can afford more than, you'll just step up to the plate and offer more. Most people that I've chatted with about this subject, they kind of have a similar viewpoint as me. They don't really think it's going to work. Um, I kind of describe it as like a live auction. You see somebody raise their hand and they're going to bid 100. Next person, they're going to bid 150 and then 200 and so on, right? So I don't think much will change here. Another big change happening this year in 2023 is the foreign home buyers ban. Again, this move sounds great on paper, but when you really look close, I don't think much will change with affordability. Foreigners that want to infuse money into the Canadian real estate market, they still have many ways to do so. They can just gift this money to their friends or family members and buy a home through them. Um, there's also a long list of exemptions of people who can actually still buy in Canada, which I went over in one of my other videos. I can also put that link in the description as well. That's it. Again, if you made it through the entire video, I really appreciate your support. There are many opportunities out there for buyers right now. Yes, listings are down, but so are prices, and there's way less competition in the marketplace. I thought I'd leave you with that tip to wrap things up. I hope that everyone has an absolutely awesome 2023. Peace.